Good afternoon, beer fans. So, as you might have guessed by the beautiful cascading waterfall of bubbles, um, this is a nitro, a nitro stout, a nitro milk stout. At that, um, wasn't going to review this beer originally, but uh, I was incredibly surprised by the quality of this. Um, never had it before until this week. Uh, typically, so lately, unfortunately, I've been uh, buying like all these neat beers, but then I drink them before I review them. So I was like, well, I'll just get a six pack of something. You know, I love stouts, so I got a six pack. It's like, all right, I'll drink these and not review them, so I won't waste the beers that I buy specifically for review purposes. But this was so good, it changed my mind. It is. Firestone Walker, Nitro Merlin. Uh, they have a regular, I think it's called like Velvet Merlin, um, but this one is the Nitro Merlin. Obviously, uh, use nitrogen instead of carbon dioxide, um, which makes it much, much smoother. Even the head on this is delicious. I'm sure if we waited long enough, it would go down. But drinking this is just like drinking the beer. The head is deliciously just so smooth and thick. That is excellent. That's just the head. Oh, please excuse the mustache. Um, so, as you know, it's March, and uh, that means in the Air Force, all the men are supposed to try their best at growing a mustache. Fortunately for me, my best is not good enough, but, you know, for sake of tradition, it's my last march I'll ever have in the Air Force, so figured I'd, why not, give it a shot. It's really good. Um, so with the Nitro, you're supposed to, oh, I actually did not invert, I didn't even see these directions. Okay, it says, Invert can three times. It's pretty strangely specific. Um, pour as hard as you can, basically, which is what I did. And then wait for it to cascade, which we saw. And then enjoy. So there, there are some detailed instructions for this one. Make sure you follow them. Uh, this is so much better than the Guinness, which is... Um, Guinness is a pretty popular nitro style that people drink. A lot of craft brewers have uh, nitro beers. Old Chubb Nitro, it's a good one from Oscar Blues. It's a personal favorite. But this beer has so much more complexity in the flavor than a Guinness. I like Guinness, but I don't know, I feel like it's a, it's a pretty simple beer. It's it's good, but it's not great. This is great. Big fan of this. Has a lot more flavor. Very rich, um, chocolatey, and uh, strangely sweet. Uh, absolutely delicious. I was very impressed. Firestone Walker Nitro Merlin gets the Zane seal of approval, and uh, I don't think it was too expensive either. Highly recommend it if you get to see it. This one was actually at my gas station, but uh, they've always got really good beers at that gas station. So uh, I would say try and find it if you can. Um, probably, I'd give it a nine. Yeah, that's how much I like it. Now, keep that in mind. That's, uh, well, no, yeah, that's just general stouts, okay? Obviously, it's not barrel aged or anything like that, but I'd give it a 9. It's a really good stout, and one that you can drink very easily. Very smooth, um, delicious, no, uh, no weird aftertaste, no burn as it goes down, very drinkable. Yep. Cool, well, um, yeah. That is that. Probably do another review tomorrow. Um, 
for that one, I'll have to decide. Leave a comment, okay? Seriously, if you want me to review an IPA, let me know. Or the other option is a sour, a barrel-aged sour, uh, an expensive barrel-aged sour. So, cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys soon.